Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Sasu here bringing you top notch ability and fun. And today we're coming back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity. In the last episode we helped Leo. <laughs> I mean, we gave him the nickname Leo, right? And well, uh, we helped him to get the, his paradise, his Pokemon paradise or whatever. <laughs> and in this episode we will go after a house because it was so chilly. The night was so chilly that we need a house now. This way, hmm? it is sure snowy. Em I mean, reflectively <laughs> empty around here, right? <laughs> oh, Quagsire being Quagsire. This way, <laughs> all right. So, guys, how was your day? How was your day? <laughs> I don't know if all you Pokemon come along this way here, huh? And so Boston was built as a nice dress stop for all this fucking work. Alright. Seems good. Postdown is this way. Let's go check it out. Alright, we shall go and check out that town. Here we are. This is Postdown. <sighs> oh, it's so good. Well, it should affect to be quieter somehow, but it's surprisingly lively here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This town is quite famous for having the best water, so visiting Pokemon all drink their fill and watch their fighting. Huh. I suppose that's why everyone tends to gather here. Hmm. There are a lot of mm, shops and things too. Oh, the, the dude, all the, oh, the chest. Oh, the. Oh, that's a deposit, alright. I will definitely deposit my shit there. And there's the general store, you can buy all kind of items here. <gasps> Chameleon, I love it, that Pokemon. There's also an inn and this restaurant and, and all kind of places. You should free, feel free to use any of the shops you'd like. Huh? What are you doing? You just hit me on purpose, didn't you? No, 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 I didn't you. That hurt you, oof. All I did was brush brush you with my pick. <laughs> What's the big deal? Don't go throwing a pain over you little bump. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> they seem a bit touchy. I know of those Pokemon ever tried to step in. Oh this kind of reminds me uh, like when people get robbed like right right in front of your face and you and you do nothing, or maybe it's the other way, like when you get robbed in, in a in a mall or whatever, and people just look at you and they're like, <gasps> "Oh well." Have you have you ever been robbed, guys? And did, did someone ever came in, or you were you the hero for that person? Let me know in the, in the comments below. This world does seem a bit dark, dark these days, huh? Th thought we should weren't. Well, never mind all that. Hmm? You turn in uh, a carpenter, right? Yep. I'll go have a look around. While I do that, you can, you two can uh, check the town. All right, thanks, Quagsire. All right, so let's check out this town. Advice, Bulletin. Whenever you're in Perth Town or in Paradise, you'll be able to save a record of your better from the x -Men. All right, I will have it in mind. Why did I, ha why did I have to do the voiceover? I, I don't know. I don't know. All right, the deposit. If you have too many items, store some items in the deposit box. Not only you can store all kind of items, but you can also deposit P. Alright, that's good. Chameleon! No, it's Kecleon, it's Kecleon. Why did I say Chameleon? Oh, yes. Because there's a monster, a monster hunter, whose name is Chameleon, and he's just like him. Alright, so I don't have... I don't have money, so... Well, <laughs> <coughs> the name is from Paras, the box buster. You got a treasure box for me? I have it open in a jiffy, or it will. But the shop's house actually closed. Oh, fuck. I was it up a little bit too much. Sorry about that. Alright, it's okay, no biggie. This is the gift shop. 
care, I just make gifts just how my customers like them. But right now, I'm out of material from bragging paper, so I can't open up the shop. Oh, everything is closed but the general store. What? You too, good timing. Oh, thank you, Quagsire. We're the time, we're the time gods, or some shit. <clears throat> you should ask him about your house. Let's. Where's your master? What, our master? Do you mean the boss? <laughs> Why are we doing such stupid voiceovers? <laughs> your boss is the carpenter, right? We want to build a house. Could you take us to meet your boss? Hmm. We certainly can. Come on then. <laughs> Don't dawdle for nothing. Alright. <laughs> Do you guys enjoy my fucking voiceovers? I think they're kinda of stupid, but <laughs> it makes everything more funny, I guess. So where's the boss? Oh, <gasps> what are you talking about? That ain't the boss. In that world, in what world does that look like a carpenter, huh? Everybody just wanna. She owns the place. She's in charge. You will see your boss just, o just over there. Oh, <gasps> that's our bar, Gordor. Gordor. <laughs> Listen up. The boss has a bit of a vicious temper. Mind your manners. Gordon, what? What do you two want? Hey, boss. She the folks here. Hey, what's this? You got some kind of job for me? Yeah, we want to build a house. I think we can do it, but we need a carpenter. So we heard you were a carpenter. So that's why we're here. Hmm. Uh, we will of course be paying you for your help. We really need a place to live. Please. Please, won't you help us to build our home? So, uh, what do you think, boss? <laughs> I know he's gonna be like, Gordor, that's a big thing for free. Uh, boss? Gordor! <laughs> Alright. I'll do it. Really? Yeah. Really. I'm a carpenter, aren't I? We craftsmen stick to our word. Thank you! Alright Sasu, we're gonna build the house. We're gonna need money to build the house, right? We don't have any yet, but we're gonna work hard to save some up. Oh yeah. No, nope, don't need any money. <gasps> I want you to bring something else instead. There's this plane near we call the stone cave. Go all the way up to the deepest part and get me some of the gems you'll find there. Alright. Yeah, that's right, dude. They're blue stones, right? Got it? We're gonna need materials to build you that house. I need those blue hems, gems to swap for building supplies of the lumber yard. You'll spot the gems if you, if you, got, if you go far enough into the stony cave. Let me see. Yeah, my five little ones should do it, I'd say. If you go and get some gems, I can trade them for whatever you need. Then we can build you your little house. Alright, we just need to get you five blue gems, right? Yep, that seems like it. Thanks, Gordon. <laughs> Thanks, Timber. Alright, Quagsire. We need some directions. So, alright, we need to get to Stony Cave. Stony Cave, get five blue gems, and uh, there we get our house built. I have a bad feeling about this cave, I don't know why. Uh, um, Timber? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? Um, you're not helping. No, it's nothing. Yeah, forget it. Let's go and get those gems already. Alright. Yeah, this sounds kind of wonky. You can reach Stony Cave from this here crossroads, right? 
There's only one thing to remember. I think you already know it, but... Stony Cave is a mystery dungeon. Oh, 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 oh. Things are kinda getting funny now. Mysterious things are always happening in areas like this. Like every time you go into one, it's, its layout will probably change. Or an underground passage will lead to somewhere, some place you never expect. But there are sure to be adventures waiting for you in those kind of mysterious places. <clears throat> that was the idea that we made that made me want to buy the land here. It sure does sound fun when you put it like that. Mm. Somethi sometimes you can find rare treasure. <gasps> treasure. And then out of nowhere, you might get viciously attacked by wild Pokemon. They're very, they're very dangerous places, so be careful, huh? I see. This job may not quite be as easy as I would thought. Then again, build a house isn't easy either. Might as well at least try your best. Hmm? You know, quite sire. Do you fully understand the dangers we're about to face, right? Don't you think you could summon up a bit more genuine concern? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Quagsire, me, Quagsire, me, look at his face! He just... <laughs> nope, never bothered to be concerned about anything about that. <laughs> Quagsire for president, my man. Why start <laughs> And besides, dude, this Quagsire is an example of a good living man. I somehow did get the feeling that you that you two can make it through anything together. Oh, thank you, Quagsire. It's rather reassuring, huh? Even if it's based on um, absolutely nothing at all. Honestly, Quagsire, you're just a genius! <laughs> He's a genius! Well, we do want to have a house, so we've just got to try anyway. Sasu, before we head out, let's make sure we know what we're doing. Gardner wants to make a go all the way into Stony Cave and get a pile of gems. That's what he said, right? Yeah. Alright then, let's go. We're definitely gonna get some of those blue gems and build ourselves a house. Oh yes, you fucking bet. Well, wait. Where's... Here? Alright. Where will you go? Stony Cave, please. But anyway, guys, we're gonna finish this up here. And in the next episode, we will go to that cave and get those gems and get ourselves a house. So please, guys, if you enjoyed, uh, be sure to like and favorite this video. And even subscribe if you want. It, it will help me out even more than you can imagine. Anyways, guys, um, <coughs> hope you have... Hope you have fun watching, thanks for watching, and as always have a wonderful day.